the second aliyah of Parashat Ki Tisa. Exodus chapter 31, verse 18. Wa el Moshe. Kechalatha. Kechalatha. Wayyitan. The reason I'm saying Wayyitan instead of Wayyitan is because there's a Dagesh and a a dot inside of the Yud, the letter Yud here. So the dot at the bottom is the vowel, an E sound, but the dot inside is not a vowel. What it does, it tells you to slightly elongate the consonant sound of this letter, which is Y. So instead of just regularly reading it Y Yi, you're going to say Y Yi. You hold it just a little bit longer. Y Yi Ten. Y Yi Ten. L. Moshe. Again, Wayitan El Moshe Kechalatha Le Vaber Ita Bahar Sinai Le Vaber Ita Bahar Sinai Shne le hath ha evuf shne le hath ha evuf het is often mispronounced as a khaf the letter khaf however the letter het and the letter Chaf are clearly distinct letters. This is Chaf. This is Het. In ancient linguistic works of the Jewish people, these two letters are clearly distinguished as producing two very distinct sounds. The Het is grouped with letters like Aleph, He, and Ayin as being produced in the throat, not produced in the mouth. Chaf, on the other hand, is described as being produced in the mouth necessitating the use of the tongue. It's created by causing slight friction between the back of the tongue and the roof of your mouth. Friction. Het, on the other hand, should have no friction, no contact between your tongue and the roof of your mouth. Rather, it's produced by exhaling. Exhaling while slightly constricting the muscles in the top of your throat not in your mouth. It's near the mouth, of course, because it's in your head, basically. But it's a little bit further down than where cough is produced. If you use the tip of your tongue, you can slide the tip of your tongue over the roof of your mouth, beginning at your teeth, going all the way back. And you will feel that eventually, when you push the tip of your tongue as far back as you can, you'll notice that the roof of your mouth becomes more soft. Right? That's around the area near your uvula, the little thing that hangs down in the back of your mouth. That's where the friction, the contact is made between the back of your tongue and the roof of your mouth to produce this sound of khaf. You should not make that sound when you make the letter het. There should be no such friction. Your tongue should be relaxed and you just exhale. If you struggle to produce the sound of het, it's better to just pronounce it like an H. If it's at the beginning of a word or in the middle of the word, pronounce het like the letter H in English, like the letter he. Even though that also would be uh, an incorrect pronunciation, but it's much closer to the correct pronunciation of het than chaf is. To the point that the sages of Israel and the Gemara and the, and the Talmud, they do not mention people confusing chaf and het. They mention people, ancient Israelites, confusing het with he because it made sense back then they had not yet been exiled in europe for thousands of years where the the sound of het did not exist so although the talmud records people mispronouncing het even 2000 years ago but the mispronunciation from 2000 years ago was much closer to the correct pronunciation and 
And it could very well be that that's part of the reason why He and Het look so similar. Regardless if that's the reason, that's one way that you can use to help remember that He and Het produce almost the same sound. With He, your throat is completely relaxed. With Het, your throat is your throat muscles are slightly constricted. With Chaf, it's not even produced in the throat. It's produced in the back of the mouth with a soft palate of the roof of your mouth, making contact with the back of your tongue. So one last time, you can work on pr pr pronouncing het properly, but if you're still struggling, just pronounce it like a regular H sound when you read het at the beginning of a word or in the middle of a word. If you see het at the end of a word and you're not able to pronounce it correctly, then in that case, it's better to pronounce it like the letter Chaf if you're a normal English speaker, because most English speakers struggle to make a He sound that's not followed by a vowel. So keep it simple. Het, at the beginning of a, or middle of a word, pronounce it like a He if you struggle with pronouncing it correctly. Pronounce it like an H, ha. Huh. But if it's at the end of a word, if Het's at the end of a word, Pronounce it like a chaf until you're able to correctly pronounce it. Shene luhuth o ezuth. O ezuth. Luhuth even kethuvim. The esba elohim. Wayitan el Moshe Kehalatha Lezaber Ita Bahar Sinai Shene Luhuth O Ezuth Luhuth Evan Kethuvim the S Ba Elohim. One last time. Wayitan El Moshe Kihalatha the Ber Ita Bahar Sinai. Shane Luhuth Ho Ezuth. Luhuth Evan Kathufim Kathuvim. The S Ba Elohim. Verse. Oh, I believe I, when I said the names of the, the numbers of the verses, I didn't realize. So 18 is the last verse of that chapter. So this is Exodus chapter 31, verse 18, through chapter 32, verse 2. Next verse. <clears throat> this is a long one. Wayar Oram Wayar Oram Ki Vershesh Mershe. We have two cases, one after another where you have the holam, the O vowel in Hebrew, not being present, but being swallowed up, so to speak, by the dot of the sheen. But it's still there, it's indicated. You're supposed to infer that there's an O vowel here. And it's in both of these words, Veshesh and Moshe. Veshesh, Moshe. La revith min hohor. Wayar Oram Ki Vershesh Mershe La Revith Min Ahor Wayiko Hel Wayiko Hel Oram Al Aharon Ah, Harun. 
we elongate the first syllable of Aharon. Aharon. Wayyemeru. Wayyemeru. This O vowel, Holam, it is coming from the Yud. So you're going to not pronounce the Aleph as a glottal stop. You read this as if the Aleph is not there. So that this Mim and this Yud are actually in the same syllable. In English, we would write it Y-O-M. Y-Y-M-E-R-U. Elol. Elol. Whenever you have a vav with no vowel at the end of a word, if it's not a typo, it's, you should assume that it's a pronoun, third person pronoun, him. And if you see a yud immediately before that unvowelized vav at the end of a word, the yud is silent. Hello. Boom. I say. Bonu. Elohim. From the beginning, Wayar Om Ki Vershesh Mersha La Redeth Min O Hor Wayako Hel Om Al Aaron. Wayemeru Elo Um Ase Lonu Elohim Asher Yelhu Lefanenu Asher Yelechu lefanenu ki ze Moshe a ish asher herelanu ki ze Moshe a ish asher Erelanu me eros misraim me eros misraim lo yada nu lo yada nu me aya lo. Asher Yelehu Lefanenu Ki Ze Moshe Haish Asher Perelanu Meeros Misraim Lo Yodanu Me Haya Lo from the beginning. Wayar Ho Om Ki Vashesh Moshe Lorev Min Hohor Wayar Ho Om Ki Vashesh Moshe Lorev Min Hohor. One more time. Wayar Ha'am ki vashesh moshe l'aradat min ha'ar. Wayyqahil Ha'am al aharon wayyumru elo kum asalanu elohim. Again, Wayyqahil Ha'am al aharon wayyumru elo kum asalanu elohim. One more time. 
Again, Asher Yel Hule Fonenu, Kize Moshe Hoish, Asher He Elonu, Meeras Mis Rayim, Lo Yodarnu, Mehoyol. One last time. Asher Yel Hule Fonenu, Kize Moshe Hoish, Asher He Elonu, Meeras Mis Rayim, Lo Yodarnu, Mehoyol. Let's read the whole pursuit one final time. Wajar ho om ki vishesh moshe loredef min ho hor. Wajikha hel ho om al a harun. Wajum ru elo kum aselonu elohim. Asher yel hu lefonenu kize moshe ho ish. Asher he alonu me eros misraim. Lo yo vanu me ho yole. Next pasuk, a shorter verse. Wajamer Wajamer Alehem Aharon Horku Nizme Azahor Horku Nizme Azahor Wajamer Alehem Aharon Horku Nizme Azahov Asher Bozne Neshechem Asher Bozne Neshechem Benechem Uvne Fechem Benechem Uvne Fecham Wahavi U Wahavi U Elo Wahavi U Elo Wajamer Alehem Aharon Or Hu Nizme Azahav Asher Ozne Nesheham Benecham Uvne Theham Havi U Elo. I'm sorry. Where Havi U Eloy. Where Havi U Eloy. If you're not familiar with uh, Hebrew grammar, a little mistake like I made there where I said Elo instead of Eloi, it's not just being nitpicky about pronunciation. It actually significantly changes the meaning of the word. Elo would be to him, whereas Eloi is unto me. From the beginning, one final time. Wajamar alehem aharon poraku nizme hazzohov. Asher ba'ozne nishikham b'nechham uvne thikham wahavi'u eloi. One more time. Wajyomar, wajyomar alehem aharon. Orku nizme hazzohov. Asher ba'ozne nishikham b'nechham uvne thikham wahavi'u eloi. Next, Aliyah. 